A new class of emerging smartphone makers is taking center stage at Mobile World Congress 2013. The big, established companies are still here, but the bigger story is the movement coming from companies that had a much smaller presence even 12 months ago. For Chinese companies such as TCL, ZTE, and Huawei, MWC 2013 isn't just about showing off the latest handsets. It's about introducing themselves to the world at large. We launched the success of this one, the Ascend P2. It's the world's fastest smartphone. It wouldn't be fair to call these companies small. ZTE and Huawei were among the top five smartphone makers in the fourth quarter of 2012, and TCL was in the top ten. Still, these companies aren't as well known in the mobile space as heavyweights Samsung, Apple, HTC, and Nokia. All three want to change that perception. Of the three, Huawei is the most direct about its ambitions to take on the bigger players. 150 megabit uh, per second speed is much faster than uh, yeah, our competitors. Huawei was ranked the third largest smartphone maker for the fourth quarter of 2012. It's recording record revenues and profits and making big waves in growth. And the last year, we not only built the uh, brand and trust in almost every country, but also we, uh, our revenue increased 10% last year. The company currently sells most of its handsets in Asia, but it is very clearly targeting devices such as the Ascend P2 at Europe and eventually North America. ZTE is another company looking to make a name for itself at NWC. ZTE currently ranks as the fourth largest smartphone maker and is also a big player in the telecom equipment market. ZTE showed off at ZTE Open, one of the first Firefox OS-based smartphones. The ZTE Open is an entry-level device aimed at emerging markets, and it won't win any tech spec awards, but it shows the company is interested in investing in emerging platforms. TCL, which operates under the Alcatel brand in Europe, is also on the prowl. Like Huawei and ZTE, Alcatel is committed to using the Firefox OS. The company showed us their new Alcatel OneTouch Fire, which is one of the first Firefox OS-based phones. The application of the Firefox is based on the uh, HTML5 base. Mm -hmm. So that is the, uh, exactly the same um, format that to, to develop the website. Okay, great. The company also has a committed Android lineup, with specs ranging from entry level to more high end. All three companies seem to be taking cues from HTC's playbook. Aside from its recent financial problems, HTC is the classic mobile success story. In less than 10 years, the brand has gone from being an OEM smartphone maker for other companies to a major brand in its own right, often called the Taiwanese Samsung. Perhaps most importantly, HTC has managed to gain mind share in what is still the most lucrative smartphone market, the United States. TCL, ZTE, and Huawei want to replicate that success, and if MWC 2013 is any indication, they're well on their way. For Mashable, I'm Christina Warren.